What up, guys? It's your boy, the Broken Wolf, and today I'm going to be unboxing my S20 Ultra 5G. I couldn't find a knife, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use my long nails again. Oh man! Come on! Oh, you serious? Okay, so I got the seal off finally. So long, it took me forever. Okay, let's just unbox it. Okay, so in the box you get the phone, obviously. You get the charger, 45 watts um, fast charging. Does it say it? No, but I read it that it is. Oh, it's a USB Type C, to SAP Type C cable. So. AKG headphones and USB Type C to Type C. All right, let's put this away. <clears throat> let's just look at the phone now. Okay, so I've got the phone set up. Hmm. Okay. Now, as you can see, the phone phone is huge right i mean look at look at my hand oh, actually i got pretty big hands oh, i didn't know yeah so i mean last year's was s10 plus and then you had the note 10 plus and they were big enough this is bigger than this is 6.9 inches so it's bigger than a note 10 plus and obviously that means it's bigger than uh, a samsung s10 plus okay so as you, so it's a 6.9 inch let me put it, if, you, if i put it beside Last year's Huawei Mate 30 Pro, you can see the size. Oh, you see that? It's taller, right? It's wider. And if you look, oh damn! If you look, oh, let me take off the case for this. All right? Look at the case. You can see that it's thicker. Look at the thickness. Of the phone, so it's taller, wider, and thicker. It has um, a 120 20 hertz AMOLED display, and this is something that you can switch between. So you can go, go to your settings and then go to display, and then you can switch. Um, what is it? You can switch the mode. So if I just go back here, so you can switch between 120 hertz refresh rate or your standard 60 hertz refresh rate obviously the phone is snappier and faster with the 120 hertz refresh rate but if you stick to the 60 right it's gonna save you a lot of battery power judging from what i've seen online and obviously you know less battery but i would if you if you want the best of the if you want if you want to get the best performance from the phone you'd you'd want to stick to just using um the 120 hertz, hertz display at least in the beginning so you know you get a gist of how good and powerful the phone is but then if you're more about um conserve conserving preserving your battery when you're out and about i would stick to the 60 hertz display get longer battery life but obviously as they're saying realistic animation smoother scrolling let's just stick to 120 hertz for now okay so Obviously, the screen is huge, which means obviously, uh, what is it? S the S10 and the Huawei putting this in your pocket is hard enough as it is. You know, you've got your wallet and your keys to worry about. With the 6.9 inch, it's going to be even more difficult to, you know, handle with it being in your pocket. I mean, I mean, I guess for women, I don't know, probably they'll keep it in their purse or their bag. Either way, it's going to be difficult. It doesn't matter what, which way you look at it. Um, the display from last year, as you can see, is not curved. So obviously this is the Huawei and it's got the waterfall display. But if you look at the S10 Plus, right, I can't show it right now because I'm filming with the S10 Plus. But if you look at the side, right, it's not as curved as it was as with last year's models. It's more flatter. 
which is cooler for me because I mean because there were some instances where you had uh, accidental touches so yeah I mean the phone still looks good I'm, I have no issues with that okay oh uh, what do you, what do we cover yeah so it's flatter thicker taller in all dimensions um let's look at the punch out this is punch out is bang in the middle it's smaller than last year's models because um they had the punch out on the top right so it was down here right so it was distracting it did get in the way of um in the way of whatever you were watching if you're watching a youtube video or you know what is it a youtube video or tv show or whatever um so yeah and 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 the punch out is a lot smaller this year and yeah i, I mean I, I like it i didn't have an issue with the punch out you got used to it in the end but it's still it's it's still good okay so the phone house is a 5000 million battery which is huge it's, it's it's humongous if you think about it right but if you counter the if you if you look at the fact that um with the 120 hertz display right and a 6.9 inch almost 7 inches in size you're gonna need a big battery so in a way it just evens it out so yeah i mean it kind of makes sense i mean this this phone needs that kind of uh you know battery i mean if you put a 5000 milliamp battery you know you know in, in one of last year's models it, it, it would probably make the phone last a little longer you know Okay, so this is the UK version. It's the Black Cosmic version, coming with a 12 GB RAM, right? Which is huge. I mean, my laptop has 8 GB, and I still get, uh, and it still it, it doesn't slow down. It doesn't. It hardly ever. I mean, sometimes it does get slow because that's because I've got so many applications. But yeah, 12 GB RAM on the phone. That's crazy, right? I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be crazy fast. On the back, we have we have a quad camera setup. On the top left, we have the the thing that everyone's going on about, which is the main hundred and eight megapixel camera. We have a twelve megapixel ultra wide camera, a depth sensor, and a forty eight megapixel ten x hybrid telephoto lens, and also Samsung's hundred hundred um, x hybrid zoom. With the phone, you can also uh, film in 8K, which is at 24 frames per second. The selfie camera at the front, right, is 40 megapixels. It still has um, last year's um, water resistance, dust resistance, and splash resistance at IP68. It has wireless charging and a 45 watt fast charging. And those are all the stuff that I've read up on let's take a look at uh, I don't know, let me take a picture with this phone let's see let's go on more and then where's the no, this ain't what I'm looking for Oh, you know what? Let's just take a um, let's see what you, um, the display looks like with like um, well, let's, let's watch a YouTube video and see what the display is like. What music? What is okay? Let's take a look at the display. Okay, as you can see, right, the punch hole doesn't really get in the way of anything. I mean, as much as it did with the last year's model, which is pretty good, because the last year's model had two punch holes right here, and it affected. I mean, it. Uh, you once you get used to it, it doesn't. I mean, your mind kind of just forgets about it. But Samsung's done well this year. This is a 4K video, so 
and the display is looking amazing. Anyways, okay, so this is just the unboxing and like you know, a look at the phone. I'm still gonna do a review of the phone, I'll do a few other things with the phone, but at first sight, it is looking pretty good. I can't complain. Samsung oh, does really good phones. I mean, who, who, who would disagree, right? And they do, anyways. Do subscribe, like my videos, and yeah, I'll see you in, in the review. Peace out.